Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Worthy. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> I've been a professor here for like 26 years. It's been a while. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I am a senior right now at Metro. Um, I transferred here from Colorado Mountain College. Um, so yeah, I've been here for three years now. <laughs> cool. So what do you like about being here at Metro? Um, I really like the campus. Um, I think it's nice that there's a good mix. There's Because there's three schools here, you kind of get to meet people from all over. Well, I mean, it's interesting that you feel like Metro is a smaller school because really it's like 19, 20,000 students uh, school, right? And yeah. so it's really not that small a school, but it's awesome that you feel like it's that small a school. It, it does. So has anything changed since you started at Metro three years ago? Um, definitely. I think, I think all of the schools have grown in size. Mm -hmm. um, I think we were just talking about how um, like uh, it's hard to meet somebody that's actually from here sometimes okay. like uh, you talk to a student and one of the first questions like where are you from because everyone has moved here recently um, to Colorado and you definitely see it on campus you see new buildings come up <laughs> all right well I mean I don't know in the three years but you know since you've probably right before you came. You know, we have a lot of cool new buildings here. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the aerospace building and the Steve Jordan Student Success Building and we've renovated the science building. And there's just so much stuff that's happened probably in the last ten years. So I'm not sure if you've seen any of that, have you? Some of the other I know that the like CU Denver has had their new gym has been built. Yep. And then I know that they're building new dorms. Um, and that's something also that's a little different about this campus and other campuses is the dorm life. Mm -hmm. Because there's not really any on-campus um, housing. Right. It's all in its own separate areas. And so that's, again, kind of hard to really meet people. You know, the campus actually looked a lot like it does now. but. When I think back, I mean, actually a lot of things have been added. So when I look around, I see these high-rise parking garages, which weren't here uh, 25 years ago or 20 years ago. Um, the Student Success Building certainly wasn't here. The Aerospace Building certainly wasn't here. Um, I'm not even sure if the King Center was here. So there, there have been a lot of buildings and a lot of growth uh, of Metropolitan State not just the, the physical growth, but also the growth of students. So we've gotten a lot more students, um, although that kind of ebbs and flows. So, you know, the students increase and decrease. Yeah. One of the cool, one of the craziest things is the traffic. Yeah. Like when I first moved here, traffic, not an issue. Mm -hmm. But now, how about for you? What's that like? Yeah, I, definitely. I mean, even when I had come out here before I started school, because I'm not from Colorado, I'm from Massachusetts, but when I first came out here about five years ago, even then, it seemed less than it does now. I mean, okay. so, so recently we've become an HSI, right? Mm -hmm. And that, that means that 25% or more of our students are Latinx or Latino, Latina. And so, you know, the question was really about how does that impact you as a student? How, what have you observed about that? Right. Um, so, like I was saying, I think having more diverse population just allows me as a student to have those connections with other people um, and really create a community um, that reflects the rest of the population of Denver and um, Colorado in general. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, yeah, being able to have that, especially in my classes, I notice that we have very diverse, um, diverse group of students, which it just, it definitely adds to the college experience. I wouldn't want to be sitting in class with everyone who came from the same place as me and looks like me. I think it adds a lot of value to our campus. Mm -hmm. there, was, there was a particular time where people thought Metro State University was a community college. Mm -hmm. You know, they thought it was like an institution that was less than, but in the last 10 years, I think people have really begun to look at Metro State as a really viable op option yeah. for great education, you know, for students to come and learn in a diverse environment. And it's been, it's been pretty interesting to watch that. It's really nice with our classes like seeming smaller and having the close-knit kind of community with our professors and with our other classmates. Um, that you definitely get, um, you get a really great education and it is definitely, um, I think, more on the map <laughs> in that way. But with our growing programs, like uh, 
with master's programs being offered and just even my major by itself I feel like is a very unique niche mm -hmm. and so having those having lots of options like that um, for students I think is also a really big draw. Yeah I think you know when I think about it what comes up for me is like our aerospace program mm -hmm. is one of the best in the country. Mm -hmm. um, the awesome hotel where our students can actually learn, you know, the hospitality industry in the hotel. Yeah. I mean, how many times, how many places can you do that, right? Yeah. And so we have some really, the brewology I was program. Say, like, yeah. Right there. So we have Space some really cool brew. things that attract yeah. students here now. Definitely. I think it's just going to keep growing. I think. Um, I know we, we talked about before with like new housing being built closer to campus and as well as um, more buildings like the Health Institute um, and more master's programs being offered and just the expansion that is already happening. I think we're just going to keep seeing more students coming. <laughs> Yeah, well, less parking, <laughs> less parking, less more, parking students, more, students. more buildings, <laughs> less parking, more yeah. students. Uh, I agree with that. I, th I think that there, are, that there is uh, certainly the potential for growth, mm -hmm. uh, but there's also certain things in the economy that drive whether Metro grows, stays the same, gets smaller, and we, we flux right. because a lot of times what happens here at the university is that when the economy is really good, we have students that will tend to stay more in the workforce and will tend not to come to school. And then when their economy slows down and they want other opportunities or they want to switch jobs or then they, they tend to come back. And so I've seen that pattern also here, you know, over the years to, to see this, the student population kind of grow and then kind of shrink a little bit, you know, when the economy is good. And so, yeah, you know, it's, it's been really interesting to watch those patterns. You know, change is always, has is a two double-edged sword right mm -hmm. so sometimes change is good and sometimes change is bad mm -hmm. uh, for example just getting bigger is not necessarily good uh, it helps with tuition <laughs> but, <laughs> but we want to get bigger and have the the faculty and the programs that student need that students need because one of the things I think that you mentioned that makes um, the university unique is that you get this really personal relationship with right. your professors mm -hmm. and so we don't want to ever get away from providing that kind of education and that right. kind of personal it's, relationship it's too big that exactly that. exactly yeah. and so you know in that respect growing can be a problem mm -hmm. um, so I think for me I would like to see it just kind of stay at the right size and right. we have to kind of figure out what that is as we go along mm -hmm. and how best to serve our community. When it gets too big, I mean, then the classes get bigger and yet you lose that personal small school feel that I know I'm attracted to and probably a lot of other students at Metro really like as well. You can see that the, <laughs> there's nowhere to park or there. All right. I mean, and what that, <laughs> like, that what that kind of Even kinda... those little things like um, you know, you have to be waiting in line for like the bookstore now or things like like small things that just make it feel um, like less of your campus as a student. Because when you come on campus, you want it to feel like kind of a second home. Um, and so if there's just too much, too many students, too many buildings everywhere and it's too cramped, it's just not going to feel the same. And what I think about also is the growth of our city mm -hmm. and how a lot of people have in the last 15, 20 years been displaced mm -hmm. by gentrification. So when you think about the north side or yep. five points, and mm -hmm. so in some respects, our student body has been pushed further away from campus. Yeah. And I wonder what kind of effect that's gonna have, you know, for yeah. access in terms of our students having to get here and commute here. I know that's another interesting thing that's changed since I've been here is light rail, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and so that's been really awesome in terms right. of getting yeah. our students from you know the the farther reaches of the of the Denver community here on campus and mm -hmm. so that's been cool um, but at the same time you know understanding that a lot of our students are, are having to spend more time commuting right. because they can't afford to live downtown downtown or close to campus anymore finding housing is definitely one of the harder things about living here in Denver and being on campus because we don't offer on campus. I really appreciate the faculty and the like what we do have right now and seeing how much progress has been made and how many cool different unique programs that we offer. 
um, you know, just chatting about it makes me think like I'm in the right spot. <laughs> You know, from, I guess from my perspective, it's really interesting to think about the campus in the last 25 years, how it's grown, how we've, each institution has kind of developed a unique identity. You know, Auraria being a place where you have three institutions on the same campus, which I think is pretty unique across the country. Definitely. Um, and how each one of those institutions have kind of grown and created their own niche. Uh, and particularly MSU Denver, how we've grown into graduate programs and all these cool special programs um, for both our traditional age students and our students that want to come back to school and retread for a different career. Um, and that we also still have some things to work out uh, that aren't all our, that we don't all own, uh, like the parking yeah. and um, and the traffic and the high cost of living and all those things mm -hmm. that make it that create a challenge uh, yeah. for our students and for our students to be here. So I see both the growth and the amazing things that have happened and the challenges that have come with that. Subscribe to the next YouTube channel for the best of next and some other stuff. <laughs>